Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to invite your team to track time in Clockify and manage their permissions. To invite someone, go to the team page and click Add New Member. Here, type their email and click Add. You can also invite multiple users at once by separating emails with a comma. When you add a member, the system will send them an invitation email like this one. If they didn't receive an email, you can copy and send them the link yourself. Once your teammate opens the invite link, they can enter their name and choose what password they wish to use to log in. Once the user accepts the invite, they'll be part of your workspace and can start tracking time. They can always access their account by logging in with their email and password. In case a user already has an account, to accept the invite, they'll have to log in through the browser and accept the invite from the notification. Then they'll be switched to your workspace. If you or your teammate belong to more than one workspace, you'll need to be careful which is the active workspace. Your currently active workspace appears here. When you create a time entry or a project, it will appear only in that workspace. So if you switch to another workspace here, you'll notice that it has completely different time entries, users and projects. If your teammates don't need multiple workspaces, they can delete the one they are not using by clicking Manage and then clicking the Leave icon. Having multiple workspaces can be useful in case you want to keep all the data separate, but keep in mind that you won't be able to run one report for multiple workspaces. To disable someone from accessing your workspace, you can set them as inactive and they won't be able to access your workspace until you set them back as active. If you want to completely remove someone, you first have to deactivate them and then you'll see the remove option. Then all their track time will remain in your workspace, but they will no longer be able to log in unless you re-invite them. If you need more control over who can log in and how, you can integrate your single sign-on system with Clockify via SAML, LDAP or OAuth as supported by Azure, Google, Okta and other major providers. To set up SSO, you'll first need to move your workspace to subdomain, fill in the necessary information and then prevent your team from logging in using passwords by unchecking the option. You can also check this box so people from your company can join your workspace automatically without having to go through the invite process. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.